Guys, it's Simon here, and uh, this is the second tutorial on uh, on uh, customizing your blogger template. And in this one, we're gonna add a header, and uh, we're gonna uh, make that header look nice by taking away some of the borders. Okay, so um, I had to create another template because uh, my last one <laughs> got unpublished because they thought it was spam. So um, anyway, I resized everything again, so everything's back to the way it was when we left it in the last tutorial. Okay, now to add a, add a header, it's actually quite simple. You come here into the layout, layout, and page elements. And then see over here where you see the header, you click edit. And then here you, it, you can basically um, add a, an image. So you can choose an image from your computer, which is uh, one that you already saved onto your computer, or you can basically um, choose one that's uh, that you saved somewhere on the web. So it can either be in your on your Flickr or your photo bucket or wherever you have it. So I'm just going to choose one that I already have on the computer. I need some soap to put on my chair. Um, I need to wash. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm uh, home alone with Arwen, so. Um, I've got to keep an eye on her as well. Okay, so um, our image is loaded. Now, I made a mistake here. I'm just going to remove it again and show you what I did. I actually need to click on here where it says shrink to fit. Now, the only reason why I need to do that is because um, the image that I have is just something that I downloaded. Um, so it's not sized properly. Um, it's actually very large, so I just want it to shrink so it can fit uh, within our, our template. If you obviously create your image from scratch, then you can um, you can make it whatever size you want and you don't need to do that, shrink to fit. Okay, now here you have two options. You can uh, have it behind the title and description, or you can have it instead of the title and description. Um, if you make your header the way you want it, you can put your title and description on the actual image. So uh, you can actually put it instead of the title and description. I'm not sure what kind of effect that has on uh, on the search engines. Um, uh, unfortunately, I, I can't. I won't be able to. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it has any effect. I think it might. But uh, for the sake of this example, we're just gonna go ahead and do it instead of the title and description anyway. And you can add your description here. Uh, Okay, there we go. And now save changes. Wash my chair with me. Come on, wash my Just a second, Arwen. And then let's refa refresh the the blog. Ta da! And there's your header. Okay, now we're gonna fix the borders here because um, as you can see over here the header is kind of jumping out of the border that's because the size of the outer border see there's two borders I don't know if you can see that properly but there's two borders and the size of the outer border is 950 pixels and uh, I I'm just gonna show you this in Firefox I'm not in Firefox at the moment because it's being a bit problematic but I'm gonna sh just open up Firefox. okay here we are with Firefox and uh, the reason I switched over to Firefox is because I can, uh, in uh, I can inspect the elements here with Firebug, so it, it makes things a lot easier. Okay, so we're here in the body, the outer wrapper, and the header wrapper. Okay, that's where we're going to be taking out the borders. Okay, as you can see, there's two the, the there's two um, boxes here. There's the header wrapper, and then there's the actual header. Now. The header wrapper is 950 pixels, and as you can see, it's all that uh, all you know everything in blue is the is the header wrapper, and then if you see in the header, there's there's the blue bit, and then there's a yellow bit around it. Now the yellow bit is the margin, so the the um, all the content only stays in the blue bit. <laughs> the margin. Um, yeah, the margin is just to give like a, a bit of a spacing, and the border is is uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see the border so well, but it's it's going around just the blue bit, not the yellow bit. So what we want to do is we want to take that border out, 
and we also want to take out the margin because we want the picture the header picture to fit only in the outer wrapper because we don't want the border there so uh, so I'm just gonna change it here just to see what it looks like um, so here's the margin and we're just gonna take that out as you can see the picture the the header is already um, kind of centralized quite nicely and uh, I'm just gonna take the border out as well and there you go <coughs> sorry um, that's much better uh, I don't know how well you can see it in the video but it looks much better the the header looks central and you don't see the um, you know the border I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the border out for the the actual header wrapper as well because you don't you don't need it. So there you go. Okay, that looks quite nice. Okay, now we're gonna do that in the HTML. So we come over here, edit HTML. Um, now let's find the header header tag header wrapper. Okay, so we want to take the border out of the header wrapper and then the actual header we also want to take the border out there and we want to take out the margin so let's save the template let's see what our blog looks like let's close firebug here and voila you have a nice header so there you have it this is how you customize your header you can add your own header and how you can uh, take out those ugly borders alright hope you guys like that I'll see you guys soon with the next tutorial I'll show you how to change the fonts and the color scheme um, so till next time cheers guys